ever pondered over the question, what exactly sparked the flames of nationalism in Europe? Well, today, prepare to embark on a captivating journey that will unravel this complex tapestry of history from the Middle Ages to the present day. Our story begins in the late Middle Ages, a time when the concept of nation-states was virtually non-existent. Europe was a vast quilt of kingdoms, duchies and empires, each with their own unique cultures and identities. Yet, beneath this diversity, the seeds of nationalism were silently being sown. Fast forward to the 16th century, the era of the Protestant Reformation. This pivotal moment in history saw the birth of the nation-state concept as people began to identify with their homeland's religious and cultural practices. This was particularly evident in England, where Henry VIII's break from the Roman Catholic Church marked the dawn of English nationalism. As we move into the 18th century, the Age of Enlightenment brought about a seismic shift in political thought. Enlightenment thinkers championed the idea of the nation as a collective of individuals sharing common cultural, linguistic and historical ties. This notion became the bedrock upon which the French Revolution was built, a revolution that gave birth to French nationalism and set the stage for the rise of nationalism across Europe. The 19th century, often referred to as the Age of Nationalism, saw the idea of nationalism gain unprecedented momentum. The unification of Italy and Germany, driven by the fervor of nationalism, reshaped the political map of Europe. It sparked the rise of civic nationalism, a form of nationalism based on shared citizenship rather than ethnic or cultural similarities. The early 20th century brought the World War era, where nationalism played a pivotal role. It was both a cause and effect of the world wars, fueling aggression and conflict, yet also inspiring unity and resistance against oppression. In the aftermath of the Second World War, nationalism took on a new form in Europe. The horrors of war led to a push for international cooperation and unity, birthing the European Union. Yet, beneath this veneer of unity, nationalism continued to simmer, often surfacing in the form of separatist movements and far-right politics. Fast forward to the present day and nationalism remains a potent force in Europe. From the Brexit movement in the UK to the rise of nationalist parties across the continent, the spirit of nationalism continues to shape Europe's political landscape. To summarize, the history of nationalism in Europe is a tale of evolution. It began as a silent undercurrent in the Middle Ages, grew into a defining political ideology in the Age of Enlightenment, fueled the unification of nations in the 19th century, contributed to the world wars in the 20th century, and continues to influence modern-day politics. It's a testament to the power of shared identity, culture and history in shaping the destiny of nations. So, the next time you ponder over the question, what exactly sparked the flames of nationalism in Europe? Remember that it's not a simple spark, but a complex interplay of historical, cultural and political factors that continues to burn, shape and redefine the continent to this very day. Voice over. Before we conclude this journey through the ages, let's briefly reflect on nationalism's role in shaping our society. Remember, understanding our past is the key to shaping a better future. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning.